Good morning, the honorable members of the Commission appointments, uh, our uh, senior officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, ladies and gentlemen. The fifth meeting of the Committee on National Defense of the Commission on Appointments in the first regular session of the 19th Congress is hereby called to order. Madam Secretary, please call the roll. The Honorable Officers and Members of the Committee on National Defense, Vice Chairperson, Senator Maria Lourdes Nancy S. Binay, Senator Francis Chis G. Escudero, Senator Jingoy Ejercito Estrada, Senator Christopher Bong T. Go, Representative Oscar Oka G. Presento. Malapitan, Senator Amy R. Marcos, Representative Jose Gay G. Padiernos, Representative Johnny T. Pimentel, Senator Francis Tol N. Tolentino, Members, Representative Ferginel G. Biron, MD, Representative Albert S. Garcia, Representative Greg G. Gasataya, Senator Risa Ontiveros, Senator Lauren Legarda, Representative Lani Mercado Revilla, Senator Grace Poe, Representative Manuel T. Sagarbaria, Senator Cynthia A. Villar, our ex officio members, Vice Chairperson Representative Ramon N. Guico Jr., Majority Floor Leader Representative Luis Raymond L. Ray F. Villafuerte Jr., Assistant Majority Floor Leader Senator Joseph Victor G. Ejercito, Assistant Majority Floor Leader Representative Rodante D. Marcoleta. Minority Floor Leader Senator Alan Peter Compañero S. Cayetano. The Chairperson is present. Thank you, ma'am. With nine members present in person, including the Chair, and two members present online, with a total of 11 members present, the existence of a quorum is hereby declared. Majority Floor Leader. Mr. Chair, I move to defer the approval of the minutes of the previous meeting held yesterday, May 16, 2023. I so move, Mr. Chair. Is there any objections? And being seconded, the Chair hears none. The motion to defer the approval of the minutes of the previous meeting is hereby approved. Again, ladies and gentlemen, honorable members of the Commission of Appointments, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning again. Today, your committee is tasked to deliberate on the ad interim appointments of 50 general flag and senior officers in the armed forces of the Philippines that were submitted to the committee's jurisdiction for each consideration. Officers, please stand up as your name is called, please. Alfonso F. Torres Jr. to the rank of Rear Admiral. Fabian M. Pedregosa to the rank of Major General, Steve D. Crespillo to the rank of Major General uh, with waiver of appearance, Your Honors, uh, Proceso S. Ribancos to the rank of Major General, Elpidio B. Talha to the rank of Major General, Rogelio D. Olanday to the rank of Major General, Marion R. Season to the rank of Major General, Luis Rex D. Bergante to the rank of Major General, Romel K. Tellio to the rank of Major General, Lenart R. Lelina to the rank of Brigadier General, Oscar D. Canlas Jr. to the rank of Commodore, Eric A. Makaambak to the rank of Brigadier General, Ray M. Bess to the rank of Brigadier General, Antonio Z. Francisco Jr. to the rank of Brigadier General, Ramon P. Sagala to the rank of Brigadier General, Romel U. Labrador to the rank of Commodore, Alejandro J. Papa to the rank of Brigadier General, Clarence A. C. Garrido to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army, Leother S. Leviste to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army, Martin S. Daiz Jr. to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army, Jimmy V. Jimenez to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army, Joseph F. Manangan to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army, with a waiver of appearance, uh, Your Honors. Uh, Teresa M. Nickdow to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. Benjamin A. Tapnio to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Army. 
Ronald E. Gaboy to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Alfredo E. Vicente II to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Sir Byron L. D. Ocampo to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Arnel I. Patetico to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Roderick T. Reyes to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Marlon A. Parugrug to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Carol Joseph A. Prehiliano to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Ferdinand L. Benitez to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Glenn Mark R. Cabalquinto to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Erasto C. Olave to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force. Rifiel Santiago G. Soto to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Ritza Ann M. Jovillanos to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, uh, with a waiver of your answer, honors. Jonathan P. De Leon to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Celito T. Balico to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Jose Romulo Y. Dilag to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Air Force, Joan P. Dalmacio to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air, Air Force with a waiver of appearance, your honors. Philip Edward B. Lamog to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy. Rogelio B. Unai Jr. to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy. Leia G. Estabilio to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy. Darwin F. Nieva to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy. Emerson F. Oxales to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Rowan L. Rimas to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Navy. Marines. Bill L. Pasha to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Navy. Marines. Prisco T. Tabo Jr. to the rank of Colonel, Philippine Navy. Marines. Edwin T. Elio to the rank of Captain, Philippine Navy. Romel D. Dakanai to the rank of Colonel Dental Service. Before we proceed, the chair would like to acknowledge online presence of Representative Virginel G. Beron, MD. Good morning, Congressman Beron. I'd like also to acknowledge the presence of Senator Jingoy Estrada. Good morning, Senator. Madam Secretary, Kindly report on their jurisdictional requirements and other pertinent information relative to their ad interim appointments in compliance with the new rules of the Commission and the rules of the standing committees. Please, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Your Honors. The ad interim appointments of 50 general, flag, and senior officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines dated March 23 and April 4, 2023, under consideration today by the committee, were received by the Commission Secretariat on April 11, 2023, and were forthwith referred to the Committee on National Defense by Senate President and CA Chairperson Juan Miguel Mix F. Zubiri, pursuant to Section 16, Chapter 5 of the New Rules of the Commission. Likewise, on various dates, said 50 ad interim appointments were published in two newspapers of general circulation, the Manila Times and Manila Standard, and broadcast over PTB4, pursuant to Section 2, Article 2 of the Rules of the Standing Committees. All the appointees have complied with the submission of the mandatory documentary requirements as provided in Section 24, Chapter 6 of the New Rules of the Commission. The CA Secretariat received a letter from the Deputy Chief of Staff for Personnel J-1, Brigadier General Romel P. Roldan, on May 11, 2023, addressed to the Committee Chair, Representative Romualdo, requesting for the waiver of personal appearances of the following officers. Major General Steve D. Crespillo, who is in Spain from May 16 to 20, 2023, to participate in the third edition of Spain's International Defense and Security Exhibition 2023. Colonel Joseph F. Manangan, who is in the USA from May 5 to 19, 2023, to undergo executive program in defense decision-making course. And Colonel Joan Juan P. Dalmacio, who is attending the Air War College Residence Course in Alabama, USA, from May 9, 2023 to May 26, 2024. 
Yesterday, another letter from the Deputy Chief of Staff for Personnel J1, Brigadier General Roldan, addressed to the committee chair, was received by the CA Secretariat requesting for the waiver of personal appearance of Colonel Ritza Ann M. Hovillanos, who tested positive for COVID-19 virus. Members of this committee were furnished copies of the letters and the same were uploaded on the online database platform of the commission. There are no oppositions filed against any of the appointees under consideration today. That is all, Mr. Chairman, your honors. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Uh, the chair would like to acknowledge the presence of Senator Joseph Victor G. Ejercito. Good morning. Um, Majority floor leader, please. Mr. Chair, I move that the letter request for the waiver of personal appearances of Major General Crespillo, Crespillo, Colonel Manangan, and Colonel Dalmacio be approved. Is there any objection? The chair is none. Motion approved. Mr. Chair, I move that the letter request for the waiver of personal appearance of Colonel Hovellanos be disapproved and the consideration of her ad interim appointment be deferred to a later date for her to be present physically during the deliberation. I so move, Mr. Chair. Is there any objections being seconded? Chair, here's none. The motion to defer the consideration of the ad interim appointment of Colonel Hovellanos is hereby approved. Uh, Madam Secretary, can you please administer the oath to all the appointees present? May we request the appointees to please stand and raise your right hands. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding? So help you, God. Mr. Chairman, the appointees are now under oath. Please take your seats. Thank you. Uh, may we now call on Rear Admiral Alfonso F. Torres Jr. to be to take the seat. Excuse the most senior among the appointees under consideration today. If you're ready, uh, Admiral Torres, you can uh, please uh, give your opening statement in behalf of the officers. Thank you, Honor. To the honorable members of the commission appointment, your honors, I am Rear Admiral Alfonso F. Torres Jr., Philippine Navy, the uh, present commander of the Naval Education Training and Doctrine Command. And uh, with me are other 48 generals and flag officers who were promoted by the President of the Republic of the Philippines and is mandated to to face the commission appointment as representatives of the people who would uh, uh, approve also the designation and position of, of those generals and flag officers in your presence. And we are very fortunate to, to have this uh, activity with you, your honors, and we will be privileged and very honored to answer questions and as far as our uh, positions are concerned, and uh, would like to thank you for taking time out to be with us, and good morning to all. Thank you very much. Your Honours, the floor is now open for inquiries with our senior uh, log officer in command, uh, Admiral Alfonso Torres. Yeah, uh, we'd like to recognize uh, our vice chairman of the Committee of National Defense Commissioner, Commission on Appointments, Senator Christopher Bongo. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, pleasant day to all of you as vice chair of the Committee on National uh, Defense. I am here to express my uh, steadfast support for the confirmation of the ad interim uh, appointments of the 50 generals and senior officers uh, of the armed forces of the Philippines. Uh, let, let me make of uh, 
uh, record my uh, support for uh, Rear Admiral Alfonso Torres, Commander po ng Naval Education Training Doctrine Command, Philippine Navy. Major General Marion Season, Division Commander 3rd uh, ID. Major General uh, Luis Rex Bergante, Commander po ng Training Doctrine Command, Philippine Army. Tagadabaw to. Major General Rogelio Ulanday, Commander po ng Army Support Command. Major General Proceso Ribancos, Chief Engineer Office of Chief Engineer, GHQ. Brigadier General Ramon Sagala, uh, Commander ng PSG and Concurrent uh, SMA. Brigadier General Lelart Lelina, Brigade uh, Commander, 801st, Philippine Army. Uh, Brigadier General Alejandro Papa, Regiment Commander, Army Signal Regiment. Philippine Army, Brigadier General Ray Bess, Wing Commander 355th Aviation Engineer Wing, Philippine Air Force, Brigadier General Eric Makaambak, Commander ng 1st Marine Brigade, Philippine Marine Corps, Brigadier General Antonio Tony Francisco Jr., Wing Commander uh, 710th uh, Special Operations Wing sa Clark po. Commodore Romel Labrador, Deputy Commander Naval Sea Systems Command, Philippine Navy. Commodore Oscar Canlas Jr., Deputy Commander Visayas Command. Navy Captain Rowan Rimas, Assistant Chief of Marine Staff for Operations, uh, Philippine Marine Corps. Colonel Jonathan De Leon, Group Commander ng Tactical Operations Wing, Southern Luzon. At si Colonel Clarence Garrido, Student Officer Master in uh, MNSA. And of course, uh, sa lahat po ng mga nandiyan dyan, uh, Major General Fabian Pedregosa, Major General Steve Crispillo, Major General Elpidio Talha, Major General Romel Tellio, Colonel Yoter uh, Leviste, Colonel Martin Dais Jr., Colonel Jimmy Jimenez, Colonel Joseph Manangan, Colonel Benjamin Tapnio, Colonel Ronald Gaboy, Colonel Alfredo Vicente II, Colonel... Uh, Byron De Ocampo, Colonel Arnel uh, Petitico, Colonel Roderick Reyes, Colonel Marlon Parugrog, Colonel Carol Joseph Prehiliano, Colonel Ferdinand Benitez, Colonel Glenn Mark uh, Cabalquinto, Colonel Erasto Olabe, Colonel uh, Refiel uh, Soto, Colonel uh, Jose Remolo Dilag, Colonel Silito Balico, Navy Captain Philip Lamog, Navy Captain Rogelio Unay Jr., Navy Captain Darwin Nieva, Navy Captain Emerson Oxales, Navy Captain Edwin uh, Elio, Colonel uh, Bill Pasha, Colonel uh, Prisco Tabo Jr., Colonel Romel Dacanay, and of course to our admirable uh, women in uniform, Colonel Joan Dalmacio, Colonel Leia Estabillo, Colonel Teresa Nickdow. I express my utmost uh, gratitude to each and every one of you for your service to our beloved country in safeguarding and protecting our nation's interests. Uh, noon pa man po sa Marawi at sa panahon po ng uh, pandemya, salamat po sa inyong uh, serbisyo sa ating mga kababayan. We will be eternally grateful for your heroic efforts to keep the peace and for defending our country at all costs. Uh, ako naman po bilang inyong senador, at uh, Vice Chairman po ng uh, Committee on National Defense at dito rin po sa CA. Uh, full support po ako noon pa man sa panahon ni dating Pangulong Duterte hanggang ngayon. Nandito lang po kami to support our Armed Forces of the Philippines. Thank you for allowing us to enjoy the blessings of democracy and peace. Maraming salamat po sa inyong walang uh, kapagurang uh, pagsiservisyo sa ating mga kababayan. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, our Vice Chairman, Committee of National Defense, Commission Appointments, Senator Christopher Bongo, uh, Congressman Manuel Sagarbaria, sir. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chair, to the rest of the members of the Commission. And uh, I would like just to make a manifestation of support to the ad interim appointment of Major General Marion Regulial Sison. Mr. Chair, I would like to express my full and unwavering support to the confirmation of Mr. Marion Reguial Sison as Major General of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. 
Back when I was still the mayor of the city of Dumaguete in 2014, Gerald Sison and I have worked closely as he was the commanding officer of the 79th Infantry Battalion of the 3rd Infantry Division of the Philippine Army, stationed in the province of Negros Oriental. I have known him to be a man of service. In fact, he was awarded with the Gawa Nanka Unlaran Medal in 2014 for spear spearheading and organizing socio-economic and non-combatant activities during the onslaught of Typhoon Ramil to ensure the safety of the constituents of the province. And to the rest of the general flag senior officers of the AFP present today, you have my full support as well. Thank you very much, and thank you very much for your service. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh Representative Manuel Chiquiting Sagarbaria. Uh, Mr. Chair, excuse me. Yes. Can I have sir? this please in the record? Uh, yes, please. The Secretariat will, uh, will uh, get your uh, manifestation, Your Honor. Um, Congressman, uh, Representative Johnny T. Pimentel. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Once again, my colleagues today before us, we have nominees who are members of the fraternity of free and accepted masons of the philippines being a past grandmaster i believe that it is incumbent upon me and my duty and obligation to acknowledge their presence and there to be recognized so therefore mr chair may i request that uh, these mason nominees once their names are called to come forward to be recognized the following Mason nominees are Brigadier General Antonio Z. Francisco, uh, Congressman Pimentel. Before you what? proceed, excuse me. We'd like to acknowledge the chair. Would like to acknowledge the presence of Senator Nancy Bine. Good morning, ma'am. Brigadier General Francisco is a worshipful master of Commonwealth Masonic Lodge Number no. 460, Quezon City. Commodore Oscar D. Canlas Jr. is a member of Cosmos Masonic Lodge Number no. 8, Manila. Colonel Romeo Dacanay is a member of Trece Martiris. City Masonic Lodge number 350 Cavite and Colonel Benjamin Tapno a member of Midsayap Masonic Lodge number 267 North Catabato brethren in behalf of the Grand Lodge of Free and Accepted Masons of the Philippines we give our full support for your confirmation, and I am very sure that the members of our fraternity are very, very proud of you today. Let us just hope that you'll fulfill your duties and functions of your position. Congratulations to all nominees who are members of the, our fraternity. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Representative Pimentel. To our uh officers who are members of the free accepted masons from the son of a mason congratulations dad S senator Amy marcos then senator cincha villar thank you very much yes uh, a few brief questions uh rear admiral torres please uh you had naval education with the uh shift from uh, internal insurgency and other issues um we are now um aware that uh, we need to deal with external defense are there any changes in the training and doctrine uh, that uh, will be instilled in our younger officers yes ma'am good morning um the naval education training and doctrine command with the guidance of the uh, flag officer in command we are slowly transforming our program of instructions and uh, to, to synchronize with the modernization program of the Philippine Navy. And we are now uh, transforming also the mindsets of our personnel to cope up with the uh, fast 
uh, innovations and technology developments. And given the fact that the Philippine Navy is more on technical, uh, it's a technical service, we are focusing on uh, mathematics, science, and uh, other subjects re related to technology. Because as you all know, Your Honor, we are now uh, procuring modern equipment that needs technical skills of our personnel. But we are not discounting the warrior, the warrior aspect of training because we still need uh, our special operations personnel to, to have uh, special operations on land, sea, and air. So uh, by and large, the training of, uh, objective of the Navy now is to cope up with the technological advancement of our modernization program. Yes, so, Admiral, we appreciate your um, insistence on technological advancement. But uh, the uh, shift from uh, insurgency to uh, external aggression and defense is the question. Do you have any insights in this, into this change? Yes, ma'am. Um, we have this uh, Navy vision for 2020. We are focusing on three pillars of our operations. That is more on maritime security operations, maritime domain awareness, and maritime cooperation. One of the aspects of our training is more engagement with our counterparts. And uh, when, we fo when we shift from internal to external uh, operations, we engage ourselves or our, with our allies in the Asia Pacific uh, region. And uh, it is our mandate that training commands of uh, other countries are uh, regularly meeting, uh, updating our doctrines, uh, upgrading our facilities, and uh, motivating our students through good references coming from different sources, not only in the Philippines, but to other training commands, especially to, in the Asia Pacific region. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Rear Admiral. Um, I'm uh, relieved to hear that uh, you mentioned maritime security, but certainly the uh, shift in training and doctrine command has to be uh, more palpable. Thank you very much. If uh, the chairman will allow, can we call on Major General Talha of the Air Force Reserve? Yeah, Major Talha. Major General Talha. Yes, uh, Major uh, General, um, as uh, we questioned um, Rear Admiral Torres, we'd similarly like to ask you if there are amendments to the reservist law that uh, you can um, recommend to the legislature, given that uh, the reserve forces will perhaps um, in the near future be called upon to uh, serve. Thank you very much, uh, Good Senator Mom, uh, for the question. Uh, I think the the uh, the law now is uh, enough for the meantime for the reservists. Uh, the lacking now is really the support, particularly in uh, resources, Mom, in order to we can empower our uh, our reserve commands to train and prepare an operational uh, uh, upgrade the operational readiness of our uh, reserve force, ma'am. That's the challenge now of uh, the reserve commands. So uh, to your mind, the law is sufficient, does not require any amendments, and uh, merely requires support, because uh, there have been many commentaries that in fact, our reserve forces are not in any way ready um, to serve. Ma'am, uh, our reserve force is uh, really uh, not, uh, sufficient enough or equipped enough uh, to be ready, to be operationally ready in a, uh, to be integrated to the regular force in order to combat the threat as we, we, we are preparing, ma'am. So uh, my recommendation is really to uh, support additional resources in order that we can train and we can, we, the reserve force also should have and enough equipment uh, at par also for the regular force, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm in full support of uh, your statement. And uh, please uh, 
submit if uh, necessary any requisites uh, given that we will be entering the period of the budget and uh, GAA 2024 will be in the offing. Thank you very much, Major General uh, Talha. Thank for you very that. much. And um, I'd uh, like to talk to, uh, if the chairman will allow, Brigadier General Lelina. Yes, Brigadier General. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I would just like to clarify your affidavit uh, indicates that you have not been charged of any, any criminal offense involving moral turpitude. When, in fact, the Supreme Court um, records indicate that uh, while you were not convicted, you were charged before the CHR or the Office of the Provincial Prosecutor of Eastern Samar of a crime involving moral turpitude. Why have you indicated otherwise in the submission to the commission? Uh, are you referring, ma'am, to the uh, grave misconduct uh, charged before me by the uh, uh, Commission on Human Rights, ma'am? I think uh, there's a Commission on Human Rights case as well as an Estafa case. Can you clarify for us, please? Yes, ma'am. I think uh, that case has been resolved a long time ago, ma'am. And it's about uh, the same. It's the same case, ma'am. It's about uh, a car about that was uh, confiscated by the operating troops of uh, our battalion. But it was not me, actually, ma'am, that was uh, involved. But the car about was uh, uh, entrusted to our detachment, and so uh, after some time, when the NPAs who were uh, caught were uh, uh, set free. Uh, I was then a second lieutenant, ma'am, and I was uh, uh, told, directed by our by our battalion, to dispose of that carabao. But later on, uh, 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 they they uh, made a complaint that the uh, Commission on Human Rights, and so I was the one implicated. I see. But our battalion paid, actually, ma'am. That's right. Um, it, it's apparent that, uh, in fact, you were not convicted in no, that case, but you were, in fact, charged. I just wanted to clarify and put that on the record. And uh, thank you very much. That will be all. Um, Brigadier General, please, Sagala, uh, last you, question, please. Uh, your excuse, General. Uh, the, General uh, Mr. Chair, I'll just cure you. It involves Karabao and it involves uh, human rights. Shouldn't it be animal rights? <laughs> estafa, estafa, <laughs> though. <laughs> okay. Yes, Brigadier General Ramon Sagala, please. Um, I uh, once again would just like to give you the opportunity to clarify the record. Your net worth rose by 26 million six hundred and fifty five thousand seven hundred ninety nine from december 2019 to december 2022 or a net increase of 16 million plus plus um however your com your cumulative compensation income for the same period is only a total of 4 million resulting in an unaccounted increase of 12 plus million can you explain on the record so that uh, we are uh, clarified? Are there other sources of income aside from your job as uh, the uh, uh, presidential security group commander? Thank you, um, uh, Madam Senator. Ma'am, um, during that time, uh, some properties of, uh, that belong to my parents were sold. Uh, in fact, um, in 2017, uh, uh, we had a house in Tagaytay that was sold because uh, I couldn't longer maintain it. It was given to me by my father a long time ago. So it was sold, so I was able to put it into... I declared it, ma'am. Uh, if I remember right, ma'am, I think it was like almost $7 million. And then last year, last year ma'am, um, our family decided to sell uh, another house of our parents in Baguio. Uh, I, I believe I was able to get about... Uh, 
I think about five million, ma'am. I have to look at my records, ma'am. But the, these were properties of my late um, mother and father that were sold and uh, divided amongst uh, us siblings. Yes, thank you. That's uh, exactly the answer that we needed, that uh, there are, in fact, other sources of income that uh, were not reflected completely in your records. Thank you. That uh, aligns all the accounts. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Um, thank you. I think uh, that will be all. Uh, I just want to... Thank you, to General Sagala. Records, Mr. Chair, thank you very much, General Sagala. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Chair, just like to add that uh, the nominee, uh, Brigadier General uh, Sagala, is my classmate in La Salle. And uh, I would like to vouch for his competence, integrity. Mabait po yan. Ako po yung hindi mabait nun. Side comments are not entertained. Anyway, uh, I think the country, the PSG, the president, is in good hands under... Uh, General Sagala. Uh, he's very competent and again, I would like to vouch for his person fitness. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Majority Floor Leader El Rey Villafuerte. Uh, Representative uh, Jose Gay G. Padiernos is recognized. Mr. Chair, my distinguished colleagues in the Commission on Appointments, good morning. On behalf of uh, GP Party List, it is my uh, honor to manifest my general support for the confirmation by this honorable commission on the ad interim appointment of our DND nominees. Thank you for your service to and for our country. Please allow me also to mention. Uh, I second the motion to support ng classmate ni General Sagala. Magaling pong tao yan, si General Sagala. And we're in good hands. And to my kababayan uh, from uh, Munoz City, Nueva Ecija, Colonel Marlon Agliam Parugrug, pwede po ba kayong tumayo? So magagaling yan mga tiga Munoz, matatalino yan. Uh, Science City. So, pagbutihin mo, kabayan. Uh, marami na siyang nakamit at tagal niyang paglilingkod sa ating bayan. At siya ay pinagmamalaki ng aming mga kababayan in Nueva Ecija, mga konoboy si Hano ko. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, good morning to everyone. Thank you, Representative Padjernos. I'm sorry, Senator Cynthia Villar, please. Ma'am. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman. I just want to uh, manifest my support to Major General Proceso Sanchez Rebancos, a family friend. He has served our country well, so he deserves the promotion. And also all the... General Rebancos, please, acknowledge. Yeah. <laughs> and also to the general flag and senior officers of the armed forces of the Philippines, who are being uh, 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 appointed by uh, passing through the Commission on Appointments. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Senator Cynthia Villar. Mr. Chair. Majority Floor Leader. Uh, may I ask a question to my good friend, si General Pacoy Francisco? Sir, <laughs> sir, I fully support your nomination. On a lighter note, lang, uh, I understand, sir. You serve under President, former President Arab, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I'd just like to ask: uh, Can you confirm who is the good one and the better one? Mr. Chair, you, uh, uh, General Francisco, you better be careful with your answer <laughs> because if you choose the other one, uh, I might not confirm you <laughs> and vice versa. Yes, Just sir. kidding. Um, actually, sir, uh, wala po talaga akong itulak kay Piggins. 
Pero naniniwala po ang wala pong the good one. Kasi pareho po silang the best one. Uh, sir, next question, please. Confirm! <laughs> Uh, can I also call my uh, good friend, uh, Brigadier General Demi Sagala? Thank, Thank you, you General Francisco. <laughs> General Sagala. General Sagala, my friend, uh, you are under oath. You, uh, I, well, I fully support your nomination. I just like to ask, you also serve under the presidency of ERAP, and I know you were with him up to the last moment. Uh, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, my uh, question again is like uh, the question I uh, interposed with K. Pakoy. Can you also, uh, on record, uh, say uh, who is the good one or the better one in your opinion? Uh, Your Honor, um, the people have voted for both um, brothers, uh, Senator Jingo. May ingat to mga to. <laughs> Senator JV. And I believe um, both are very good and uh, they have their own expertise to put on the table for here in the Senate uh, by putting laws and improvements to our country. So for me, sir, both are very good. Thank you. Uh, Senator Jigoy, are you happy? Very happy, Mr. Chair. <laughs> Thank anyway, you. Salamat. Uh, uh, this representation, uh, which is the place of record, my support, of course, to the confirmation of uh, the ad interim appointment of all the 50 general flag officers of the armed forces of the Philippines of the Philippines, especially uh, Brigadier General uh, Demi Sagala and Brigadier General Pacoy Francisco, who served under the uh, presidency of my father, former President uh, Joseph Estrada. And I can vouch for their uh, competence and integrity, and of course, their loyalty, not only to the Commander-in-Chief, but also to our flag and to our Constitution. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Sagala, maraming salamat. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just added spice to the hearing. Yeah, thank you, um, our majority, uh, your leader. I s believe that there are no more inquiries with the, from the members of the commission appointments. Uh, majority floor leader, please. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, we know the sacrifice of the men in uniform here with us. That's why uh, I move. to recommend to the plenary for the commission to confirm the ad interim appointments of the 49 general flag and senior officers in the armed forces of the Philippines. I so move, Mr. Chair. Second the motion. There is a motion being uh, seconded and without any objection, the recommendation to the plenary for the commission to the confirm the ad interim appointments of the 49 general flag and senior officers in the armed forces of the Philippines is hereby approved. Congratulations. Majority Floor Leader. Mr. Chair, there being no other matter to discuss, I move to adjourn the meeting. Being seconded on the motion of the Majority Floor Leader without any objection, the meeting is hereby adjourned. Congratulations again. Thank you, honorable members of the Commission Appointments.
plenary session of the Commission on Appointments of the first regular session of the 19th Congress. Congress is hereby called to order. We would like to ask Senator Amy Marcos to lead the chamber in prayer. Yes, thank you very much. Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care and keeping all the men and women of your armed forces here in the Philippines at home and abroad. Defend them as they toil day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them against all naysayers, laggards, and miscreants in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them in the service to the public and the republic. And grant them and all your commission on appointments a sense of your abiding presence wherever our missions may lead us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Secretary, please call the roll members. The Honorable Members of the Commission on Appointments, Maria Lourdes Nancy S. Binay, Virginelle G. Biron, Alan Peter Compañero S. Cayetano, Thank you. Joseph Victor G. Ejercito, Francis Cheese G. Escudero, Jingoy Ejercito Estrada, Albert Garcia, Greg G. Gasataya, Christopher Bong T. Go, Present. Ramon N. Guico Jr., Risa Ontiveros, Lauren Legarda, Oscar Oka G. Malapitan, Rodante D. Marcoleta, Amy R. Marcos, Lani Mercado Revilla, Jose G. G. Padernos, Johnny T. Pimentel, Grace Poe, Jordine Jesus M. Romualdo, Manuel T. Sagarbaria, Francis Tol N. Tolentino, Luis Raymond L. Ray F. Villafuerte Jr., present. Cynthia A. Villar. The chairperson is present. With 15 present in person and uh, two members present online, there's a total of 17 members. The chair declares presence of a quorum. A majority leader is. Mr. Chair, I move to defer the consideration and approval of the journal of the plenary session held yesterday, May 16, 2023, until the next plenary session of the Commission on Appointments. There being no objection to the motion, the majority floor leader motions approved. Mr. Chair, may we now proceed to consider the recommendation of the Committee on National Defense on the ad interim appointments of 49 general flag and senior officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. I so move, Mr. Chair. There being no objection to the motion, motion is approved. Mr. Chair, I move that the chairperson of the Committee on National Defense, Representative J.J. Romualdo, be recognized. Our distinguished colleague from the island, beautiful island province of Camigin, Congressman J.J. Romualdo, is recognized. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Your Honors, honorable members of the Commission Appointments, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This representation, representation as chair, chairperson of the Committee on National Defense presided over a public hearing this morning to deliberate on the 49 general flag and senior officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Your committee, Mr. Chairman, Your Honors, after deliberating on their qualifications and fitness 
during the public hearing determine that they are fit and qualified to be promoted to the ranks where they are appointed and therefore ruled to recommend to the plenary for the commission to confirm the ad interim appointments of the following Alfonso F. Torres Jr. to the rank of Rear Admiral, Fabian M. Pedregosa to the rank of Major General, Steve D. Crespillo to the rank of Major General with a waiver of personal appearance, Mr. Chairman, Your Honors, Proceso S. Ribancos to the rank of Major General, Elpidio B. Talha to the rank of Major General, Rogelio D. Olanday to the rank of Major General, Marion R. Sison to the rank of Major General, Lu Luis Rex D. Bergante to the rank of Major General, Romel K. Tellio to the rank of Major General, Leonard F. Lelina to the rank of Brigadier General, Oscar D. Canlas Jr. to the rank of Commodore. Eric A. Macaambak to the rank of Brigadier General. Ray M. Bess to the rank of Brigadier General. Antonio Z. Francisco Jr. to the rank of Brigadier General. Ramon P. Sagala to the rank of Brigadier General. Romel U. Labrador to the rank of Commodore, Alejandro J. Papa to the rank of Brigadier General, Clarence C. Garrido to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Leother S. Leviste to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Martin S. Dais Jr. to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, Jimmy V. Jimenez, the rank of Colonel Philippine Army. Joseph F. Manangan, to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army, with a waiver of personal appearance, Mr. Chairman, Your Honors. Teresa M. Nickdow, to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army. Benjamin A. Tap Tapnio, to the rank of Colonel Philippine Army. Ronald E. Gaboy to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force. Alfredo E. Vicente II to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force. Sir Byron L. D. Ocampo to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force. Arnel I. Patetico to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force. Roderick T. Reyes to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force. Marlon A. Parugrub rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, Carol Joseph A. Prehiliano to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, Ferdinand L. Benitez to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, Glenn Mark R. Cabalquinto to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, Erasto C. Olave to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, Rifiel Santiago G. Soto, to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, Jonathan P. De Leon, to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, Salito T. Balico, to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, Jose Romulo Y. Dilag, to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, Joan P. Dalmasio, to the rank of Colonel Philippine Air Force, with a waiver of personal appearance, Mr. Chairman, Your Honors, Philip. Edward D. B. Lamog to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy, Rogelio B. Unai Jr. to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy, Leia G. Stabilio to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy, Darwin F. Nieva to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy, Emerson F. Oxales to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy, Rowan L. Rimas to the rank of Colonel Philippine Navy Marines. Bill L. Pasha to the rank of Colonel Philippine Navy Marines. Prisco T. Tabo Jr. to the rank of Colonel Philippine Navy Marines. Edwin T. Elio to the rank of Captain Philippine Navy. Romel D. Dakanai to the rank of Colonel 
dental service. I so move, Mr. Chairman, your honors. Majority Leader. Mr. Chair, before we open the motion, there are a number of members of the commission who would like to deliver their seconding speeches. May we now recognize Senator Jingo Estrada. Our distinguished colleague from uh, the city of San Juan, Senator Estrada is uh, recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This uh, presentation which is placed on record, my support to the confirmation of the ad interim appointment of 50 general flag officers of the armed forces of the Philippines who are with us this afternoon. Mr. Chair, the Armed Forces of the Philippines is enjoying high public satisfaction ratings. From the recent social weather stations reported last January of this year, the organization received an excellent net score of positive 76. This is actually even higher compared to the plus 67 score it got in December of 2021. The Armed Forces also received one of the highest approval and trust ratings among the government agencies as it placed second with 69% and 60% respectively, next only to TESDA. And this people's trust and confidence to the Armed Forces of the Philippines is made possible by the sacrifice, hard work, education to duty, and patriotism of the, indiv of the individual members of the, of the defense establishment which are represented by the officers in this chamber. Hindi po tayo magsasawa sa pagsasabi ng maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong serbisyo sa ating bansa. Mr. Chairman, I reiterate my support to the nine officers being promoted to the rank of Major General Rear Admiral, the eight officers promoted to the rank of Brigadier General Commodore, and the 33 officers promoted to the rank of Colonel and Captain. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Stanov. Mr. Chairman, we now recognize Congressman uh, Monching Guico. Our distinguished uh, co-chair of the body, Congressman Monching Guico, is uh, recognized. Uh, Mr. Chair and honorable members of the Commission, I am giving utmost support for the confirmation of the appointment of the 49 military officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines under the Department of National Defense. They have been proven after thorough scrutiny to be capable of the responsibilities required of their appointed positions. I am confident that these officers will fully exercise their duties and responsibilities to the best of their ability, considering the critical role they will play in the effective defense of our country against various elements that threaten it. Moreover, it is with great pride that I acknowledge the following military officers hailing from Pangasinan, namely Major General Rogelio de Salia Olanday, Colonel Alfredo Esteves Vicente II, Colonel Jimmy Biado Jimenez, Colonel Joseph Posa Manangan, Colonel Romel, Discarga Dakanay, making our beloved province proud of your achievements. As such, let it be known that I second the motion to confirm the ad interim appointment of these officers. I sobob, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Mr. Chair, may we now uh, recognize Senator J.V. Uh, Ercito? Our distinguished colleague from the city of San Juan, Senator J.V. Ayrstow is recognized. Mr. Chair, fellow members of the Commission Appointments, I would like to also uh, show my support to the officers who will be confirmed this afternoon. But in particular, I'd just like to give, um, express my support, something personal, to two uh, fine officers and gentlemen. In particular, General... Brigadier General Ramon Zagala and Brigadier General Antonio Francisco. Though these two gentlemen happen to be the aide de camp of my father, former President Joseph Estrada, and they have, I know them to be uh, um, not only good friends, but they were really good officers and they really performed the duties at the time. And I could, I could proudly say, um, Mr. Chair, Mr. President, that these two 
gentlemen are willing to take the bullet for the president and are will really adhere to the constitution. And I know that President Bongbong Marcos will be in good hands, will be protected very well by my, my very good friend, PSG Commander, Brigadier General Ramon Zagala. Demi, as he is known, used to be the spokesperson of the AFP and the Army. He is also my core commander during my uh, ROTC days in De La Salle. Kaya po, I'm very proud. I, 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 I would say that that's, uh, that's why I really support ROTC because um, he is an ideal officer that uh, really inspired us. No? And hindi po ako nagpa-exempt kahit na kaya noon. For two years, uh, we toiled under the sun um, every Saturday. Kahit tinahirapan niya kami, okay. Because I, that experience really, um, I value that experience. In uh, I, I would always attribute um, that experience in honing who I am today. Anyway, uh, again, Mr. President, Demi has 29 long years in the military service. He has always been uh, often the face of the armed forces, a capable military officer, and more than that, a very loyal friend and a fine officer. So I'm very happy also that uh, his uh, partner, also the other aide de camp of my father, then uh, Captain Francisco is now also a general. He has uh, 35 years in uh, military service, occupying significant positions in the Philippine Air Force. And I'm very happy, Mr. President, uh, personally, that uh, as member of the commission appointment that I am here um, to witness that uh, they will be donning already that star in their shoulders. These five gentlemen uh, will be an asset, not only to the president, but for the armed forces of the Philippines. And uh, I would like also to express my support to that interim appointments of all the officers that will be confirmed today. And, you know, I'm very happy that um, our chairman, our Senate president, and I have been very supportive of the efforts of the armed forces of the Philippines, especially in the modernization. And I know that um, with these, new, with these uh, officers to be confirmed today, um, we, will be, we will have a bright future for the armed forces of the Philippines. That's all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, Senator Nancy Binay, Senator Bongo, Senator Loren Legarda would wish to submit their seconding speech in writing to be incorporated in the journal of today's session. I so move, Mr. Chair. We take note and uh, approve the motion of the majority leader. But before we act on further on the motion, if I may just give a few comments because I was not able to attend the committee hearing as I had, a previous, uh, had several engagements this morning. I'd like to, first of all, uh, reiterate the call of, or rather, uh, just echo the position of Senator Jingo Estrada, na maraming salamat sa servisyon na binibigay niyo po sa inang bayan in every commission appointments hearing with uh, the AFP uh, on deck. We always want to thank you, and we never stop thanking the men and women of the armed forces for giving us the democratic principles that we are living today. This is a testament of your work, gentlemen and ladies. Kung wala po kayo na dumidepensa sa atin, both externally and internally, we cannot have these freedoms that we are enjoying. And not only freedoms, even the uh, uh, um, economic growth that we are, we are uh, experiencing, not only in the cities, but also in the countryside, because of the protection of the men and women of the armed forces. That is why we are here for you. Kami naman ang magbabawi. Uh, babawi naman po kami. And hopefully in the 2024 budget, my colleagues in the House, together with my colleagues in the Senate, uh, as mentioned earlier by Senator JV, will continue to push Horizon 2 and Horizon 3 projects to modernize the armed forces, to give you the right ammunition, the bala, the, the armaments, to be able to stand tall against any aggressor, both internally and externally. So, yun lamang po, majority leader, I just wanted to thank them from the bottom of our hearts for uh, giving us the peace and the freedom that we are enjoying today. So, maraming salamat sa inyo lahat, generals and colonels. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, may we reiterate the earlier motion for the commission to confirm 
the ad interim appointments of the aforementioned 49 general flag and senior officers of the armed forces of the Philippines. On the part of the majority, Mr. Chair, we so move. On the part of the minority, Mr. Chair, we support the confirmation of the interim appointment of the 49 general flag officers of the armed forces of the Philippines. There is a motion for the commission to confirm the interim appointments of the 49 general flag and senior officers of the armed forces of the Philippines. There is no objection to the motion. Therefore, the ad interim appointments of the 49 aforementioned officers of the armed forces of the Philippines is hereby confirmed. Congratulations to you lot. Mr. Chair, there being no other matter to discuss, I move to adjourn. And just a reminder, we'll ask all the members of the armed forces to join us here for a photo op before we, uh, after we adjourn. There being no objection to the motion of the majority floor leader, the uh, session today is adjourned.